Good morning. Always good to see you. <laughs> right, um, today's children's focus, um, the title um, I've given it is Trusting God with Our Hearts. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together today. Help us to listen and learn from your word. Amen. Today's Bible readings um, is to help us children to understand the power of God's word and the importance of focusing on spiritual treasures rather than earthly possessions. In the reading from Hebrews, it emphasizes the power of God's word and how it affects our thoughts and intentions. From Mark, it teaches about a rich young ruler and the challenge um, he faced putting God above material wealth. Today we'll talk about trusting God with our hearts and how he helps us to make best choices. So what does it mean um, when in Hebrew it says God's word is alive and active? The Bible is like a torch to us, his children, and it shows us the right path. It helps us to see what's in our hearts, what we love and what we might need to change. Why do we think the rich young ruler struggled to follow Jesus? This man wanted to follow Jesus, but he had trouble letting go of his money. Jesus wanted him to trust God more than his riches. God wants us to trust him with everything, even when it's hard. Just like the rich young ruler, sometimes we need to let go of things that keep us from following Jesus fully. God knows our hearts. God sees what is inside us. Sometimes we might feel afraid or unsure. God's word can help us to understand our feelings. Just like the young ruler had to make a choice, we also make choices every day. After all, we woke up this morning, we had a choice whether to come to church or whether to stay in bed. We're gonna play a quick game, and I planned this for a host of angels, a host of people, but we'll make it work. <laughs> We're gonna play a quick game, I would need I think I'm going to make it three people to help us. Three young ones and one young at heart. That's a good one. Brilliant. Yeah, you can all sort of yeah, stand there. In a line is good. Right. A choice, as I said, a choice to come to church or to lie in bed. You chose to come to church. Yeah? So one of you are all going to pick one at a time. And then um, the first thing you say, if it is that choice, move here. If for you, it is the other one, move to that side. Okay? So we'll have a combination. Yeah. Sometimes you have one person here, sometimes you could have three people there. But that's fine. Can you pick, Lauren, can you pick any of those sheets? Oh, sorry. It was Sharon first. Oh, look yeah, at Lauren, that. The height got me. <laughs> but that's fine. Gets me. Lauren, read it out loud. Um, E-book or paperback? E-book or? Paperback. Paperback. So when you're reading, would you want an e-book or paperback? Um, so e-book is here. Paperback is there. Okay, so three, two, yeah? So you are stuck in the... Yes, in the past, you like your paperback. I actually like paperback as well. I like to flick those pages myself. Brilliant. Okay. Um, drawing or painting. Drawing or painting. Drawing here, painting there. Uh, you put it behind so that we don't use it. Oh, okay. 
drawing or painting? So you are painting. Oh, all four of you painting. Okay, I like a bit of drawing. <laughs> chocolate or vanilla? Hmm, chocolate here, vanilla there. Okay, <clears throat> evenly split, two two. Yeah, so you like a bit more of chocolate, and you prefer vanilla. Vanilla, brilliant. If you Reading want. a book or watching a movie. Mm. It's a really tough one. It's a tough one. If you want to be in the middle, just stay in the middle there. I'm in the middle. But, so reading a book or watching a movie? Yeah, you're in the middle as well? Yeah. I like the movies too, but sometimes you read the book and you realize that you actually get more from the book, isn't it? Brilliant. We start the cycle again. Yeah, so next person. Summer or winter? Ah, summer or winter. Summer here. I will join you with summer. <laughs> So summer, you prefer winter. Okay, I wonder why. You like the cold. It's just, yeah, okay, right. Um, comedies or dramas? I think comedy, drama. All of you on comedy? Okay. Good. Indoor plants or flowers? Oh, well. What do you think? Indoor plants or flowers? Flowers? You prefer flowers? Yeah, flowers outside. I should have put flowers <laughs> outside. Indoor plants? Yeah. Nah, I like flowers. I like flowers. It's always good. <laughs> Going out or staying in? It's another one of those choices. <laughs> <laughs> I like both. Yes, it all depends on where you're going, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Going out or staying in? So you are staying in. That is unusual, isn't it? For teenagers to, you know, to stay in. That is unusual. Because of the internet. Ah, and PlayStation. Or reading a good book, maybe. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Isabella, can you turn a few and just read them out, please? Okay. Yeah. So the sorts of choices we have here are, are you an early bird or night owl? Okay, I want to see some hands. Early bird or night owl? I'm night owl. So early birds, put your hands up. Early bird. I don't like waking up in the morning. I'm really a night owl. I could do anything at night. <laughs> do you like dancing or singing? Dancing or singing. Who likes dancing? Dancing. Okay. Singing. Right? And some of you, I never saw your hand go up. You like neither dancing nor singing. Okay. And perhaps the last one, tea or hot chocolate? Tea or hot chocolate? Tea, hands up, hot chocolate, yay, wow, wonderful, wonderful. So thank you very, very much, thank you. Sorry I picked on you this morning, but it's nice to see you. Thank you very much, Isabella. So life is full of choices. In this case, the choices we make here was neither wrong nor right. But some choices that we make in life could be wrong and some could be right. The wrong ones might send us down a path that we don't want to go, a path that will not be pleasing um, to God. So we always have to watch our choices. Um, so even when choices are tough, we as Christians or we as children of God We'll have to pray to God to help us, help us make the right choices, although it may be unpopular. Help us make the right choices so that we are examples unto others. Help us make the right choices so that we make our way back to our Heavenly Father. Yeah, and that is um, what we are charged with. Now let's pray. Thank you, God, for being with us today. Help us to trust you and to follow you every day. Help us to make better choices and let go of our worldly treasures and seek treasures in heaven. Amen.